So hey, me again, and it's the end of another day. Um, in fact, it's the end of Sunday, so this is Christ Day 4, I think now. Um, so pretty good for me, four days in a row blogging, or vlogging, and blogging, and emailing, and doing videos on Facebook. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Um, you know, I've had one bad meal, which is the Christmas dinner at my dad's. Um, but I knew it was going to happen anyway, so it's not like I've fallen off the wagon, it was more of a, a slight detour. Um, but in general, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling pretty damn good about myself. Um, obviously, it's a 12-week journey. It's still very, very early days. But I'm not going to lose sleep over not progressing, because I am. And tomorrow is going to be another huge day for me. Tomorrow is going to be the first day of, well, working out on this diet plan, following the strategies I'm going ahead with. And that's going to be, well, it's quite important to me anyway, because first it's going to showcase just how one fit I've become. But at the same time, and in the same sort of brushstroke, it's going to showcase how much improvement I can make. And that's going to be the main thing I'm going to concentrate on here, rather than, oh shit, I'm unfit, it's, damn, look at what I can do. Excuse me. So, that's quite exciting, I'm really, really looking forward to it now. To be I can't wait. I just want to wake up and let it be tomorrow so I can get things done, get home, get in the garage and have a workout. You know, I've got some, well, I've got some new gear for uh, for Christmas, got some parallel bars, which I'm really looking forward to actually using. Not just for dips, but for at least trying some gymnastics type movements like uh, pike holds, straddle holds. And one thing I've wanted to do for many, many years, which is a pike hold up into a handstand. And I think they look phenomenal, and to have the core strength and just the overall body strength to be able to pull that off. Maybe not in the garage, because I think I'd break something, but just to do that in general would be just immense. And it's something which I've always wanted to be able to do, and hopefully sometime soon I'll have that on video. Probably many fails before then. Uh, might hit fail army on YouTube, and... Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to being able to push my body and do things which... I've always wanted to do, just never done. And it might sound weird coming from a bloke who's a personal trainer. You know, there's a lot of things I've wanted with my body, but I've never yet achieved. Like, I don't remember the last time I, I had a, a full-on six-pack. Now, it's not a sign of fitness, don't get me wrong, but it's nice. It's just like every man wants bigger arms, and I would love bigger arms. The little pull-ups and chin-ups I'm going to be doing is going to happen. Um... So there's a lot I'm looking forward to, so tomorrow really, really excites me. And you can probably see my waistcoat in the background as well, so I'm going to go in the office again, um, using my best china. Um, and all that is, guys, is, is quite simply, rather than hiding your best china away in a cupboard, where it's never going to get used, instead you take it out for your guests and you use it, and you show it off, and you feel good using it, because it's your best. And that's what I'm starting to do when it comes to what I wear. Now, it got to the point where I was quite happy in ripped, scruffy jeans, an old t-shirt which has been unironed, um, you know, my trainers, odd socks. Okay, that bit's not going to change. My socks are always going to be odd. But I never felt good. I never felt happy with my appearance. It was just a case of, mm, nah, who cares? I don't care. Why would anyone else care? But truth be told, I do care. And I don't care what other people think. You know, I'll be walking into an office where people don't turn their head up at sandals and shorts. You know, that's a norm. So for me to walk in suited, booted with a waistcoat, you know, a tie, gelled hair, smart shoes, polished of course, that turns heads and you get questions of either interview or funeral. Um, rather than, I just want to feel amazing. And the funny thing is, that's what I'll do in last week, or say last week, Friday last week, you actually get more done. Because you feel more professional, you look more professional, you just feel better. You, you feel more powerful because of what you wear. And don't tell me it doesn't happen, because you know it does. What you wear can dictate your mood. You get more done, you get more shit done, you get better shit done. And things just start to happen. 
So that's what I'm going for next week as well. And hopefully I've got enough shirts in there to last the week. I really hope so. I'm sure I don't have enough ties. But another aim over the next few months is to get more smarter clothes, get more clothes which make me feel as powerful as James Bond. And we all know how much I love James Bond. Um, I've only had the Aston Martin to go with it, now that would be awesome. So yeah, next week, working out, wearing my best china, so to speak, and just another week, a full week of on a ketogenic diet. So by the end of it, I should feel pretty good. Um, hopefully I won't experience the keto flu, but only time will tell. Um, but yeah, that's me for the moment, guys. It's been a cracking day. It's been a good weekend. Hopefully you've had yours as well. I've had, I think, four or five new um, sort of applications to the closed Facebook group I'm now running called Men's Weight Loss Success. Funny that. Um, and I've already had the first question pop up, so I'm currently in the middle of answering that, so I keep looking at my laptop. So, sorry about that. Um, but hopefully it's a sign of good things to come, because I want to get more men involved with this group, more questions flying, more conversations happening. I want to be able to help more people achieve their dreams in 2015. Now, I'm not going to lie, it's, it's not just for the business aspect. You know, I'm not charging these guys to become members, I'm not charging for any information. If they want to buy from me, they are more than welcome to, but I'm not going to tell them to. But helping all these people makes me feel good. It makes me feel even more powerful. It makes me feel even better. And you know, in, in that sense, we're a very vain race. I think that vain isn't really the word. We we do things for ourselves because it makes us feel good. And helping you guys, helping other people out there. It makes me feel phenomenal, and knowing that I've touched so many people makes me feel phenomenal. But anyway, guys, if you want to be in on the group, just search Men's Weight Loss Success on Facebook, and it should pop up. It is a closed group, so you will have to ask to join, um, and I will accept you. Any spam, any, you know, people trying to sell shit, instant ban for them, and just out the door, because I can't be dealing with all that crap. It's a group for people who want help to get help, and have support from other people in the same position as them, including myself, because at the moment, as you know, I'm going